Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. This is lecture number two for the students of the Home Bible College in year four. Now under the lecture two, these lectures are not going to be large, they're just small, but they each have a very, very important point to deliver. The Christian minister is no superman. You know, he doesn't disappear into a prayer booth and take off his clothes and turn into, you know, Mr. Wonderful. He is actually just an ordinary Christian, but who is dedicated to God. He has dedicated his life to God, into God's service. Now then, he will often make mistakes, as every Christian does. But he understands himself and he constantly seeks restoration through confession back to fellowship with God. Now, it's very common to idolize your pastor. May I say that this doesn't do him or you any good. It doesn't do you good to idolize your pastor and it doesn't do him any good to be idolized. He is actually just a Christian. And the best of men are only men at best. He is fallible. The Christian minister is fallible. He is not perfect. He's not perfect in his life. He's not perfect in his ministry. He's not perfect in his marriage. He's not perfect in his family. He doesn't have endless energy. And he doesn't know the answer to every question. And he cannot solve every issue. Wow. So that's a wake up call, isn't it? Well, if he's not all these things, if he's just an ordinary Christian, then why, why is he there? Well, he is a person that's dedicated to the Lord. He has an extraordinary prayer life. He has an extraordinary understanding of the scriptures. And he has special gifts of the Holy Spirit to enable him to minister the word of God for the benefit of God's people. He may have evangelistic gifts. He may have pastoral gifts. There may be all sorts of gifts that he has, which will be of immense blessing to God's people. And he walks with God. And he walks in the Spirit. All of these things are true. And yet, the Christian minister is no superman. Now, I know that these things may sound obvious. They may almost appear to be... Um, so obvious that they don't need to be mentioned. But this is the point of these lectures. We need to really have some correct down to earth thinking about what a Christian minister is. Now there's something that's something else that's very important. The Christian minister always works in a team. He never works alone. We see this, for example, in the life of the apostles. When, when Christ was alive, he sent them out in pairs. Now, the reason for that, of course, was because every word was confirmed by the mouth of two witnesses. That was a biblical principle. But, you know, in, in the ministry of the Lord, there is another biblical principle, which is, which is that um, two men, when they walk together, they cannot walk together unless they're agreed. There needs to be, there needs to be fellowship in ministry. Ministers, sadly, can be very lonely if they're alone. And, the need, and when we go through the New Testament, we never ever get the indication anywhere that in a church there would be one elder or one minister. We always have the idea that there's a plurality of eldership. You say, how does this work out in practice? Well, it works out beautifully in practice. And God himself sees to it that a man who needs the help of a brother is always provided with a fellow that can help him. And the classic example of this would be George Muller and Henry Craig. They were joint ministers together in the assembly in Bristol and they helped one another immensely. Where the one had special gifts, the other supported. And so it was a wonderful team ministry. Well, there we are. That's our second lecture. And we look forward to speaking to you again 
next time. Have a great day. Bye for now.